What's up everybody? Happy Monday. Uh, just a quick update video again. I said I'd be bringing you with me. These aren't uh, crazy out of this world videos, but I want to keep you updated. And uh, what I did do is pull off the rails and get these injectors out so I could get this uh, machine for the injectors figured out. And also, um, I want to get it back to my friend as soon as possible. So that's something that I've learned over the years. It's really important. Definitely, uh, you know, do your shit, get it back to him. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I'm doing on these. I'm on the second set. I kind of think I got it figured out on the first set. Um, I'm using seafoam, which I have no idea if that's good or bad. It seems to be foaming up quite a bit, which is probably not good. I don't know. I'm not a professional, but I'm just trying to get these things freaking cleaned out. <laughs> and I've also decided for motivation from you guys to keep a rail when I clean the tank. I think I'm just going to clean it myself. You're all right. I, uh, I don't know what I'm thinking because I am super, super cheap when it comes to this stuff. So <laughs> the other thing I did is I pulled off the feed and I have it going into a tank. I'm going to start draining the tank that way too. So hopefully we just waste no time here. Let's check out this machine real quick. By the way, also, it is like a jillion freaking degrees in humidity and we just had a, a big storm. It's kind of nice, but humid, humid. Oh my God. So here's this machine. Um, and like I said, I think in the last video, this is, you can grab it on eBay or Amazon. It's fairly reasonable considering what you can do with it and um, has all these different menu options here of uh, the settings that you can go ahead and throw it onto. And as I said it just previously, I put seafoam in it, I don't know. I put seafoam in the ultrasonic side and I pulled it, put it in the tubes too. I think they had simple green in it before, so I don't know, it's probably even whatever. Um, these four are already done and they were doing pretty well. Um, and then what I just did here was just an initial and uh, you can see that they're kind of off which is actually what it was like the first time. And then after I did the uh, the first set, I did the flow test, put them in the ultrasonic for 10 minutes. And then we went ahead and reverse flowed them, which is where you flip the injector upside down and then it reverse flows through just to try to get junk and crap out. And then I tested them again and they were all like pretty dead, dead on 40 milliliters uh, with the high speed test which was pretty awesome. So I'm really happy. I think I think we're okay. They definitely look really clean um, compared to when I started there pretty gnarly. So um, hopefully we're at least fixing, fixing our issue here. That's what we're trying to do. So I'll show you real quick what this looks like. That way you can see. So I have it on two right now. It's an idling test. We'll go to this uh, shifting speed test, which is number six. Hit play. So I had to stop it there short because I uh, don't have enough fluid in it to fill the beakers up all the way. And you hear that storm? Dang, crazy. All right, so we did our initial. I just wanted to see it kind of where we're at. See, I just basically was looking to see if any of them were like sputtering or like terrible. Um, nothing out of this world. So I'll throw them in the ultrasonic and then keep going from there. Got them all set down in the ultrasonic with some sea foam down in there. And we'll just come through here, hit stop. We're on number six, six. And we're gonna come down to where the ultrasonic is one. So two, one, start. Got 10 minute time. Just got a little bit of thing. You're busy, you got stuff to do, man. Try to be kind of quick, multitask. I think I'm doing that. Got the fuel feed going into the pump or the tank. The pump turned on with the ECU. Get out of here, update. It, uh, the injector is flipped, so we're going to do a quick reverse flow. Uh, and then after that, I would say that these are also good. I'm going to leave this valve open so it doesn't collect it, collect uh, the fluid, and just lets it flow through. I'm a little, 
Well, at least you on this guy, I noticed this one was not uh, was not pulsing very well. Kind of show you. I wonder what the deal is there. Maybe this one's the one that's clogged up or something. See, that one's just on or leaking. This one's intermittently staying on real well. See, that one's just on, not pulsing. Interesting. I'm gonna flip it around again, try it, see what happens. So I took the I took the two that were giving me issues, and then blocked off the ports up here, uh, and then just did a high speed test, and they're like exactly the same. So um, I might just flip them again, maybe do this once or twice more, flip them again, and then see how the reverse flow goes with them by themselves. Yeah, saving you the trouble of the test, I just did uh, number six, which is the shifting shifting speed test, and they are dead nuts the same. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that they are good. Injectors get a clean bill of health. Whether or not that was my exact issue, I don't know yet. We'll find out. That's the fun of this. And see if I'm wrong, which is highly possible. I'm gonna shut shut the shop down now that it's all wet in the floor. <laughs> Uh, and then uh, probably continue on with this process tomorrow night. But I wanted to show you guys where we're at. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for following along. Have a good uh, Tuesday coming up. And I hope your Monday was all right. I'm out. Peace.